Last month, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a significant case, Morthy v. Missouri, which delves into the contentious issue of government censorship and the constitutionality of suppressing speech that challenges official narratives. Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson's hypothetical scenario about a dangerous teen challenge prompted a deeper inquiry into what constitutes misinformation and whether authorities can legitimately act against it to protect public safety. The government's defense, claiming to combat misinformation and disinformation, raises critical questions about the delineation between information, interpretation, and judgment. This case brings to the fore the complex interplay between protecting public health and preserving free speech. The government's stance, as critiqued by Professor Daniel Klein, suggests a misuse of the term misinformation to sidestep accountability and curtail dissent, challenging the very foundations of democracy, science, and justice. As the Supreme Court weighs this case, the implications for how societies navigate the balance between free expression and the regulation of harmful content are profound, with the potential to redefine the boundaries of government intervention in the digital age.